Hello, 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 hello. It's been uh, so long. I'm completely in a fluster. Uh, it's just a mess. I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? I'm, I'm asking now. Can you hear me? Test, test. Oh, if only you could see. So uh, the, the link is pinned if anyone wants to come come join me. Hi, Aaron. Aaron, <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. It's been so long. Aaron, jump on. Jump on. So I was going to do my... Um, I was going to fire up the steam, steam engine, but I've got... I had it all professional. I had this really grand plan, you know, camera-wise. I've got this big uh, camera set up here on the tripod. It was all going to be perfect. Uh, uh, it was intended to be perfect. Uh, however, OBS, I don't know what's gone wrong, but it's, it's all gone wrong. So, uh, yeah, it's just not going to happen um, the way I intended for it to happen. But that's okay, uh, because I've got a nice, where is it, nice, fat, juicy cigar, a cup of coffee, and a steam engine to play with. If you want to join the ride, you can you can watch along. Um, you know, I'm going to do it anyway, sod it. So, audio is good. Camera is what it is. Whatever. Um... I'm going to just unplug it because it's uh, it's very annoying. Whatever, it's done. Uh, maybe Lux Report can guide me on camera setup. I had, I had it before. I, I used to be able to do it, but it's been so long. So let's just have a look. We've got this webcam anyway. Let's, let's get a good, good camera angle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've, I've not used this uh, Steam engine for, for a very long time. Yep, Aaron, we, we know that. It's good to see you. Where, where have you been? We've not seen you for so long, so, so long. Many, many uh, weeks and months. Um, well, it's good to see you regardless. Uh, the link is pinned if, if you want to jump on. Um, anyway, let's, the first thing I'm going to do, I've got some tissue. I'm going to give the uh, steam engine a little clean, just a little clean. It's got some dust uh, which has been collected. Actually, the first thing that I should probably do is, is light up the cigar. That should probably be the first thing. Let's do that. Um, right. Got my cigar, got my cutter. Apparently, this is a really good one, according to uh, Air King Ben. It's a Davidoff Nicaragua. So let's do that. Let's get this going. Okay, nice toasting. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I haven't had a cigar since... Um, I'm going to say Las Vegas, uh, which was the 26th of October, so a month ago. Uh, I may have had one since I came back, if I don't recall. So, first thing's got to do is the cleaning. Let's give it a nice little polish, dust off any of the, uh, the particles, the dust that might have collected. Now, I, I haven't used this for so long. Um, so, I need to give it a really good oiling. Right. 
Let's get some water. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put the kettle on. One second. You alright, Lux? No, no, no. It's it's moist. Uh, moist, moist. How you doing? You alright? Yeah. How's it going? It's disaster, mate. Disaster. What can I it's say? It's not over until the what's the, what's the saying? It's not over until the fat lady sings. She, she's not singing. <laughs> How you doing, mate? How you, how you doing? You alright? Yeah, I'm okay. How about you? Yeah, pretty good, mate. Just, I thought you, you know that Levi's T-shirt in the bin. No, no. I, 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 <laughs> it was. I looked at it this morning, and it was just meant to be. I didn't plan to do this stream. I thought I'll come to the office. You know, it's, we just had the Christmas break. It's very quiet. Nobody's around. Like the whole building is empty. There's, there's, so there's one. There's car. no work to be done until the well, new there's, year. There's one car in the car park. Normally, there's like fifteen cars, so there's just nobody in the whole building. Which means I can play the steam engine and choo choo, yeah. you know, I can make as much noise as I want. Uh, but yeah, yeah I, I did just a coincidence. I wore the Levi's t shirt. Have you got Levi's shorts? No, nah, these are uh, Puma, Puma shorts. Okay. I've got I've got Levi jeans, but I haven't got Levi jean shorts. I think that's a bit that's pushing it <laughs> a bit too far. Have you got one of those Levi's jackets? You know, the denim jacket? No, no, no. Get out of here. <laughs> no, no, no. So, have you seen one of these before? The, yeah, uh, the I, w I watched you do it last year. I watched it last uh -huh. year. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I don't even want, know why I bought, bought it. But it, I, it, That's it, why it I came to ask. Have you not used it for a year? Uh, it's probably been a bit less, but it, whenever you, whenever it last was, was when I last used it. Okay. Um, but you know, I got I got talked into it by Sovereign. Right? It's, it's it's like one of those things you want it, you really you start researching, and then once you've got it, you're like, what the fuck did I buy this for? I didn't even want it, but he, oh. he kept he kept on at me. Come on, Jamie, you know you want it. Come on, get it, get it, get it. And I, I remember because he did the tutorial, right? He showed yeah. you how to do this. Yeah, yeah. That and was an just... interesting stream. It's just sat on top of the cupboard at the back. Um, so, yeah, I need to... Right, let's, let me just get the water. I need some water. Cold water. You've got a uh, timepiece, Bob. Aaron Fletcher. I pre-boiled. Pre-boiled the water. Oh, I can't believe Aaron's here. How, be how good is that? Aaron's been missing. Morning, hiya, Fred. How you doing? He's got his bluesy. He's bluesy. Yeah, everyone's so, buying blues this lately. Yeah, except me. I sold mine. I got out. Yeah, you're right though. Yeah, everyone's buying. So, put this in the top. This is the boiler. Okay. The camera is not. It is what it is. I, I, I had good intentions, but. You know, I, I hate that OBS. I never use OBS. Okay, what do you use? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't do that setup that you have, so I, I don't know what I'd use. Yeah. See, I've, I've got the camera with a wire to the, to the laptop. Yeah. And then you use OBS to turn the uh, camera on. And then in StreamYard, you can choose the different camera setting. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could choose your second camera. Um, like now I've just chose this one. Can't yeah, you just do it directly cameras. with StreamYard? Can't you do it directly with StreamYard? Uh, maybe, maybe. I'm not too yeah. sure, mate. Maybe. Right, this is good. So the purpose of using boiling water is so it heats up faster, right? Yeah. I mean, I've got the... Exactly. So I've got all the, the Hexalite tablets which will uh which will obviously heat it uh but yeah just to save save the save some hexalite the initial heating so how long would how long does one of those tablets last for a couple of minutes oh okay at best yeah they don't last too long right i'm spilling this water in. could you not could you not use this as one of your professional you know you know you got you know in offices you have 
uh, industrial uh, shredders. Could you use this as one of your shredding devices where you just burn them instead, put all the company documents inside this boiler instead of the hexalite and start mm. burning all the documents? It was it's smoky, you know, I'm, I'm doing yeah. it in an office. <laughs> with, the, with the hexalite, it doesn't give any smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So technically you could, but it's going to be, you know, I'm going to be breathing all that in. Did you watch um, Andrew Tate when he went to, I think he went to the Davidoff Cigar Lounge in London and he had one of the last available cigars or something that was, I think, really? 30 years old or something. Wow. No, I didn't see it. Wh which channel was it on? Um, it was on some random channel. Yeah. Because they clipped, yeah, the they clipped the all of his videos. Yeah, yeah. The only um, uh, cigar sort of channels that I watch is uh, Nicholas Fox. He does uh, Fox and Sons. And also uh, Kirby Allenson is another okay. cool guy that does some cigar stuff. I'll find uh, it for you and send it in the private chat so you can watch it later. Mm. Can you do your uh, Australian accent? But hey, mate. Uh, but shrimp manabarbi. We I missed you, Aaron. Where's your Australian accent? Right, that'll do it. So I've had a lot of people, because I made a video about this uh, Willesco steam engine. I've had a lot of people, like Willesco uh, type people. Um, yeah, those sort of, you know, those sort of people. They've all been commenting on my video saying, you need to put oil in da da da. Yeah, because obviously I've, I'm no expert. I've copped, you know, just, just figuring it out. It's going to move the kettle. Oh. Um, so, so you haven't yeah. oiled it. You haven't oiled it in a, in since last time, right? Or since yeah, exactly. Oiled. I mean, I've not, I've not. First of all, I've not oiled it since last time. But you meant to oil it uh, every time you use it, anyway. Um, so, but there's certain points that I didn't oil in the okay. video. And it was making a horrid noise, like as oh, if it was going to... Like a squealing... Ee, 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 yeah. Ee, ee. <laughs> and I was just completely oblivious, you know, just <laughs> all cool, all cool. But what's the worst that can happen? It would just wear down the well, bearing? It, it could. I, I mean, it could explode, right? Surely something, oh. you know, could... Yeah. So there's certain... I suppose because, yeah, it's a working engine. It's pistons. So. It's got pistons. So I need to give everything an oil. If you want, you can put yourself on full screen and I'll just talk in the background so you don't have to see me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the camera's... you got a good good visual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's pretty good. Let me move that in. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Hi, Aaron. How's it going? <laughs> see, you, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> 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 I'm just happy to see her. It's been, it's been at so least she long. Showed her face. At least, yeah, at least she's, she's alive. Right. She's supporting Jamie. So if you if you let it boil too much and the pressure gets too high, it would explode, right? Uh, no, it can't. Oh, it okay. can't do that uh, because. This uh, this thing here, right here, if the boiler is like the pressure is too high, it has a like a safety mechanism oh, to release, release the steam out of the boiler. So it, it it couldn't it couldn't explode. No. So this is the one that I really needed. How's my audio when I'm speaking here? Right. Yeah, here. yeah it's good. I can still hear clearly. 
You still can hear? Okay, because yeah, the microphone's yeah, yeah. over there. Yeah, still clear. Right. Gotta get a good bit of oil in here. That's the bit where I really cocked it up. Have you got any travel plans for 2023? Um, not just yet. Um, I'm going, saying that, I'm going to London uh, about the 12th or the 13th of January, just for the okay. weekend. Uh, but no, no plans built yet. I'm, I want to do, I don't know, maybe something like India or, or possibly Vietnam, oh. considering uh, Vietnam. I got a friend who's living in Australia, and he wants to do the um, where well, you fly to. Uh, I think it's Ho Chi Minh, or or the other end of the country, and you get a load of motorbikes, and then you ride oh, from nice. one end to the other. But that's that's probably a, a probably a two to three week trip, um, and that might be pushing it with the misses. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to do the Oriental Express. Have you seen that? Uh, yeah, yeah, through um, through Vienna, no? It goes, is it Austria and then to Venice? No, there's, goes... there's one that's in Asia as well. It that... goes throughout Southeast Asia. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. I'm not talking about that... the Orient. I'm not talking about the Orient. I'm talking about the mm -hmm. Oriental Express. Okay, no, I don't know this one. Aaron says, can you do your London accent for me, please? All right, love. How's it going? How are you, lassie? You, you, know, you know, London accents, I always know the bad words. Like, um, uh, fuck, what, what, what do London people say? All right, you slag. <laughs> fuck. You know, like EastEnders? Well, don't they say it on yeah. EastEnders? Yeah, yeah. The Mitchell, the Mitchell brothers. Sure, sure. Phil, Phil and um, yeah, Phil Mitchell. Steve. Phil, what's his brother? Phil, Phil and is it Steve. I can't I can't Steve remember. Mitchell. <laughs> what was his mum's name? I forgot. Peggy. 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 Can't forget Barbara. Barbara Windsor. Yeah, yeah. I used to watch uh, EastEnders back in the nineties. I haven't watched it since. Yeah, I probably watched it in the two thousands. Yeah, yeah. Like every day, basically. In the evening, it was an evening thing. Uh, Seven thirty, maybe eight yeah, o'clock. Yeah, yeah. You know, Emmerdale, <laughs> EastEnders. Harvey. Yeah. Okay, I think I think we're, we're oiled up. I think we've got enough oil. The main one is this one. I'm gonna give this another good bit of juice. Do you find it thera therapeutic? I don't know what I find it, mate. I'm still working it out whether I uh, <laughs> whether I like it, whether I don't like it. I mean, it's. I've got it now. I've got to live with it. It's not like I, I stick can... on eBay. Can I? I think yeah. I, I think I want to do that. I want to get an eBay account. Well, put it on Craigslist of... or in Spain or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good idea. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. It's not doing any harm. The thing the thing that I find with selling is it's it's the hassle. You know, people got. To, can I meet you at six o'clock? They come round and then they might the like low it. Ball, they might... Yeah, yeah it's just not not you, you, dealing with you it. You agree at five hundred euros, and then they could say, oh, "Well, I've only got four hundred. I got cash in my hmm. pocket right now. I've just, you know, I just got paid, and I've only got four hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather, give, to be honest, I'd rather give it away if I was to, you know. Okay. But I have got things that I want to sell, like old books. You know like what? What I do with them? Just books, books that I've read. 
Okay. Yeah, once you've read them, you don't need it again. Right? That's right. And, and I got in my, and I, I live in a two bedroom flat. I'm running out of space. I got in my uh, wardrobe, I got the top shelf just full of old books. I want to do something with them. Yeah, you need to make the the Jamie Opelins eBay account. And if you promote it on your channel, you might get some good uh, bids if it's anything interesting. Mm. Maybe, maybe. Right. Let's fire her up. Okay, so where's the lighter? So have you attached the uh, accessories? Yeah, they're, they're so I bought this piece of wood. The accessories are drilled in. Oh. Uh -huh. I've got a because I remember last time the, the pulley was kept slipping off, right? The yeah, it's the right spring. bitch. <laughs> it's a bitch. <laughs> so yeah. This one seems to be okay. And I've also got this uh, it's it's a dynamo M sixty six. So this is a globe which spins. Right, let's uh, let's get some fire going. So you you basically put the hex light in here. And then you put it under the boiler. Right. Where is everybody today? Uh, no idea. Everybody, everybody as in who? Like Dodger. Any, anyone, and... anyone and everyone. No idea. Dodger, Dodger. I've not spoke to anyone. Right. Oh, no, no. First, I have to get it on the bottom ready to go. JB says, I'm here. You all right, JB? JB, JB. Right. So... All we've got to do now is wait for the uh, the pressure gauge. Start building. Yeah. How long apparently that... these apparently these were really popular in uh, you know like Sovereign and Archie's childhood era. They're what what yeah. are they like fifty year olds? So that this would have been uh, forty odd years ago, forty five years ago. Yeah, probably like the 70s or something, 60s, 70s. Yeah, 70. and this would have been like the, the Rolls Royce of, you know, nowadays they want an iPhone or a PlayStation, but back then this would have been like... Would you, crack. here's a question, would you ever give an iPhone, like a thousand pound iPhone to a 10-year-old kid? No, I, I have yeah. an eight-year-old... And she's asking now. She wants an iPhone. Daddy can have an iPhone, but uh, probably fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Because I've seen people like Christmas, and they're showing off like giving iPhones to their kids, and I'm just like, hmm. dude, that kid's like seven, eight, ten. I'm yeah. just like, what the fuck? They don't need. It, and it's they'll sad. drop it. It's not that. It, it, the, the thing is, the minute you give that iPhone. You're officially declaring, you know, the end to their innocence and their childhood. Yeah. Because yeah. Mum's gonna sit on her iPhone, dad's gonna sit on his iPhone, and eight year old's gonna sit on her iPhone, and you're gonna be in the living room, all three of you on the iPhones. And uh, it, it's just it doesn't get better from there, it, it can only get worse. So and then they, I just and wanna then hang addicted, on. They get addicted and then they're looking at weird shit on the internet. Yeah, because you can't yeah, control yeah. it, right? Yeah, they they get ag they get aggressive. They they start getting anxiety, and you know, because their attention is drawn to the to the iPhone, yeah, yeah. the Snapchat, you, the Instagram, and you try and yeah. take it away from them, and then and they won't. That's have what I'm it. saying. Like, yeah, because yeah, I've already gone through that with the iPad. I already had that experience with with my daughter and her iPad. I tell you, if I get that iPad out, out of her hands for the weekend, by the time the end of the weekend comes, she's a great kid to be around. But yeah. that first bit of time, you know, like the recluse, recluse, yeah. like a drug drug addict, you know, they, 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 want, they want their drug. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing good that can come from 
an eight year old having an iPhone. I, I've seen people give um, phones and stuff to like, like uh, an eighteen year, eighteen month old baby. Yeah. Oh wow. In the pushchair, wow. like this. Yeah, it's crazy. Hmm. Or oh, in the restaurant, you know, to, to yeah, shut to keep them the kid up. quiet, yeah, you know, to keep the baby entertained or something. But that's that's just the that's just the you know their social skills are not you know the kid can't s sit there. I mean, it's easier just to give them the iPhone and, and shut them up at the end yeah, of the exactly. table, but it, it's not it's not correct, and it can only bring bad bad things. So. Yeah, there's a time and a place uh, for for these. Technologies. I'm I'm happy to hear you say that. I'm really strong about this. I just I just feel like it's it's. Does equivalent. your wife or does your wife or girlfriend agree with you? Same, are you both in the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. it's even worse if if your partner is not as strict as you or not on the same wavelength, and then you're sure. fighting with each other of, about that. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, we 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 both agree. I mean, she's probably driving it a bit more than me, but I know it's the correct decision, and I'm I just go along and I support her with it. If some people would say like, "Oh, but the kid needs to learn how to use technology." Yeah, yeah. I mean, even age. at school, yeah. even at school, they they've all got an iPad now. At school, as part of the learning in the classroom, so you know, effectively, she's probably got. Um, She's probably got. Uh, you see it steaming off at the top. I don't know. If you yeah, I was about to say it. that pressure rose really fast. Yeah. Beep beep. <laughs> well, I've got a speeder in. So I I can't I I don't know how loud it is how like in reality how loud is it? Uh, like a car loud. engine. A bit loud, yeah, a bit louder. Wow. So it's like having a car in your office right now. Yeah, that's why I say I can't use it because the uh, the other people in the offices. I bet they'll be thinking, what the fuck is going on downstairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got oil squirting on me everywhere. Oh, shit. It's going to explode. It's going to explode. What does that do? That What does that pump do? I don't know, mate. I don't oh, know. Shit. It's Where's Sovron when you need him? That globe is spinning like crazy. Maybe if I change my uh, microphone to my AirPods, you might hear the sound. Can you hear it better now? Uh, it's very quiet. It's almost silent. I think your ear pods cut out the background noise. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, let me change the mic back. Yeti stereo. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that microphone's better. Because your ear pods cuts out the background um, noise. What would happen if it went too fast? You see the crank or the pulley? Let's have a go. Think? Let's give it a go. What's the maximum speed? All right. So I'm going to just turn it off. Let this, let the uh, let steam. get the maximum yeah. steam build up. Might need to put some more hexalite. Yeah, see, they're they're pretty much burnt out. Right, we're gonna go full, full, full speed. I, I like the colors. The red color looks quite nice. Yeah, nice, isn't it? it it's a, it's a German steam engine. 
It's from I Germany. looked at their website. They've got loads of different toys. That's it. See, that's what I was meant to get into, all the different accessories, to buy the accessories to come with it. Have you ever have you ever wanted to get a train set? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like a proper uh, train yeah, a proper set, a steam train, yeah, engine. I mean, yeah, a proper train set. I've never really wanted to, but I could I could get into it. I could I could see myself doing it. Because you could build, you know, build the scenery and do all of that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't want to get into that. Panels and shit. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, nah, that's that's pushing it. <laughs> right, so the, the PSI, we're on about 30 PSI. All right, what's the maximum we can go to? Well, remember, we've got the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. overspill. The, yeah, wait, we're just, we don't know what we're saying. We're just... <laughs> <laughs> Technical terms. You get the idea. So I'm going to go full speed. L.A. Mathwich says hello. Hello. Full speed. Right. Full speed. Full speed ahead. We're oh, fucking all, way. Way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going. We're going. Let's go. Full, full speed, speed ahead. But the pressure drops so fast. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I was the like 18 million If you break it, don't blame me. I'm just more concerned about getting hit by something. <laughs> Can you hear the whistling? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you what else is nice is when you let it just tick over. Yeah, just slowly ticking. Yeah. The sound, like the ch 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 Exactly, ch exactly. You try and get it just to, you know, like when it's just... Ch 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can imagine now why... Uh, like full-blown enthusiasts of this brand will be will be screaming at the screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're trying to put it maximum reps. <laughs> They're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" So now it's just it's just. Ah, uh, I can hear the squeaky noise. <laughs> what was that? I think it was someone outside. <laughs> someone beep, beeped. Beep. <laughs> yeah, that's so much more chilled out. But it shows you the difference in speed. It's so, yeah, it really was so fast before. Let's get the uh, the light going. I think I've got it connected the wrong way. You know what you should do. You should you should yeah. find out how you could do it so you could charge your iPhone or something. Yeah, that'd be amazing. I'm sure it yeah. could do it. Yeah, 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 definitely. I think that's what's cool about it—the concept of power powering things by steam. That, you yeah. know, as a kid to learn the concept of these little. Yeah, I never energy and, and what comes out. Yeah, I think we need some more water as well. I gotta get this uh, thing off. But, uh... 
So basically, this uh, dynamo, it's a light. You have the red yeah. and the black. Yeah. And then you connect it to the dynamo block. Okay. And then it powers it. So, well, I just don't know which one goes which. You know, there's probably positive a, and negative. Positive. Exactly. Okay. Have you got anything planned for the New Year's Eve? Uh, just, just with the family, you know, my my wife, her mum and yeah. uh, sister, uh, niece, and then the little one. Just, just with the family, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, need, I need some more water. Oh, this thing is, oh shit! Oh. Holy moly! <laughs> that scared the living daylight out of me. The AirPod nearly popped out. Look. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Fucking hell. Be careful, JB. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah, it's, you know what it's oh, like? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like it's like opening the car radiator valve. I don't know what it's like, but it, it ain't great. <laughs> I need to take the fuel source off. <laughs> Fuck. Don't burn right. the office down, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, good point. <laughs> um take it to the kitchen. Well just hold it while I fill it up. That was quite powerful. Yeah, that was insane. It shows to, <laughs> it goes to show the power, right? Think it hit the roof. <laughs> uh, I like watches, says. Power a watch winder, spin that world time. <laughs> <laughs> spin me. What's the song? Round, round, right, round, baby. Round. I don't know what the song is. I spin you round, baby, round, baby, yeah. round, round. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, right. Kettle on the floor. That'll be the first thing. So you're having, are you having fun? I'm smiling. I've got a smile <laughs> on my face. The cops Shit, are coming. The police are here. What was the plan? We were going to do Dynamo, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get some more fuel. Does the fuel pot have any weird smells? Not really. It's a, it's it burns clean. Like it's um, there's no smoke. I mean, you've got to be careful. Obviously, there, there is chemicals that are being burnt. Uh, but I've got the windows open. Right. <clears throat> it's a good. It's the only problem is all this oil. That's what it's like, though, isn't it? On the steam engine, the dirty. Yeah, yeah. And the coal. Yeah, a bit of excitement there, Jamie. That was extreme excitement. <laughs> Mate, because it went flying. It, it yeah. felt like my AirPod popped out. You're lucky you didn't burn your face off. Well, I'm, I'm just happy that this didn't whack me in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear, I hit the roof. Imagine, imagine having your head like right over the top of it, trying to peer in, and the thing blows in your eyes. Not good. Uh, what does it say on the box? Adult supervision required. 
I got rid of the box. I got rid of it. Box and papers. Got rid of it. We, we, we need some adults to supervise us. Well, we need sovereign. Exactly. I like the sounds from your office. Yeah, that's very good sound effects. No, 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 I can hear the birds that you got a pigeon ah. or a bird. There's a lot of uh, trees just outside. So I guess there's um, birds in the trees. It seems quite uh, quiet around around your office. Yeah, I mean today's today's like almost like a bank holiday. Okay. What are we today? Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised that people aren't back to work. Well, in the UK, they only had Christmas Day. All the shops were open on Boxing Day, and uh, even on New Year's Day, they're open. Really? Yeah. yeah. I thought in the UK, normally the shops close on New Year's Day. Am I, am I wrong? Uh, yeah, but it's all commercial now. These sort of days off. Um, like even now on a Sunday, all the supermarkets are open, yeah. even 24 hours. I mean, my God. Do you remember as a kid in the UK, the Sunday, the only place that'll be open is Woolworths and like one little supermarket or something? Like yeah, and, uh, or sometimes like the Sainsbury's might open, I don't know, 10 till, 10 till 4, you know, like half day. Uh, but yeah, now it's like there's as the super, supermarket 24-7. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the, we're going to do the light, aren't we? We're going to do the light. See the light? Uh, yeah. You might not be able to make it out. You can see a little light, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Do you have to have it on full full speed to get the light on? Um, if you go down to see. the trickle, would it still be see. on? That's still on. Yeah, yeah, still on. Okay. You can't really make it out, though. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now it's now it's faltering. So, what other what other accessories can you can you possibly buy if you if you really wanted them? Let's have a look. Let's pull it up. Pull a little up. Let's have a look. Present. Share screen. Chrome tab. Here we go. So uh, we go to drive models. Mm -hmm. So these are, are these the attachments? Yeah. So this, this is what I've got here. The roundabout with the globe. Okay. Where is it? Uh, I don't know why there's no picture. Oh, it's taking me somewhere. Oh, why is it? Yeah, I think, yeah. If you click on it, it'll probably take you to. Oh, so, man. for example, this one. Um, yeah, I don't know what their website's pretty rubbish. So is anyway, that carp put, carpenter. Showing? Yeah, yeah. So you see that circle there? Yeah. You put your pulley on there, and then it powers him as if he's cutting the wood. Okay, okay. Or this one, you put the pulley here, and then all the kids on the uh, on the swing would be swinging. What's the, what's the you... one on the bottom? On the bottom, on the second from the left. This one. Yeah, what's that? It's a fountain. What? Castle fountain. So it would be it would be going up and down. It's okay. you know as if it's pulling the water out, or maybe, or maybe you could actually put water in it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Can you put water in it, and it will just go trickle around? Yeah. So what you can, what you can actually look. This one's guy painting the wall. <laughs> so you you can buy um, uh, you can buy 
um, like junctions and then you can have like 10 of these running at the same time. You don't have to have just two. Okay. You, you, I like, like here, the one yeah. at the bottom as well with the, what, you know where you hit the hammer and you yeah, try yeah. to test your, your strength? So if you bought, for example, this counter shaft, so you'd have one from the main steam engine going to it, and then on this, you could have one, two, three, four, five. You could have six different toys all running at the same time. Nice, nice. And they're all, they're all fairly inexpensive. So those toys, they're like 50 euros each, 40 euros, 30 euros. You, you not... was reading my mind. I was literally going to say, are they expensive? No, they're not. They're not crazy expensive. Uh, stationary steam engine. So my one is this one, D21. Okay. I think this was like 400, something like that. Okay. But it's uh, a but quality this... piece of kit, so... It is, it is, it is. It's, 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 I think it's handmade. Think in Germany, to, is it? In Germany, Germany. Yeah. What would the scoop be for? I have no idea. Aluminium scoops. What the hell is that for? <laughs> Okay, oh. for sweets. Sweet. Oh, I guess it's just for industrial use. Yeah. Proper... These are the ones that, that I think you were talking about, the uh, like a steam train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Archie's got something like this, as doesn't he? But not the same. He has. Company. Yeah, no, he has, he has. There's, I mean, Willesco, there's a, there's a couple of companies. I don't know the other one. I know there's there's... There's a few, but Willesco is sort of one of the main ones. But he has, he's got, he's got, he's had all these. I've seen it on his live stream. Yeah, I he's remember. had all these as a kid. I didn't have anything like that as a kid. No, me too. Oh, look at that. I'm guessing, is that brass or colored aluminium or something? Uh, aluminium. Maybe brass. And I, I think it's going to have a switch where you can make it actually move. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh, so it actually yeah, yeah. moves. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. That is, yeah. Fire engine. But can it pump water? That's the question. I like the attention to detail. Mm. I don't There's think they sell a great deal either. It's not like they're mass produced pumping. Yeah. I don't I don't know how many they sell, but I don't think it's a lot. You know what I'd love to have? Oh, he's, he's pumping the water. He's pumping the water. Look. You see it? Is that really water coming out of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch, watch. Oh, it is. I can see. Holy shit, it is. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so you, you could have a you could have one of these pulling all sorts like trailers and yeah, and you can put stuff like stuff in the trailer. Sehen Sie jetzt, wie Sie Ihr Modell richtig in Betrieb nehmen. 
Entweder Sicherheitsventil herausdrehen. Den Trichter in die Einfüllöffnung des Kessels einsetzen. Warmes Wasser bis an den oberen Rand des Wasserstandglases in den Kessel einfüllen. Die Verwendung von warmem Wasser verkürzt die Aufheizzeit erheblich und spart Brennstoff. Das Federsicherheitsventil wieder eindrehen. Um die korrekte Funktion des Ventils zu gewährleisten, muss es geölt werden. Dies sollte vor jeder Inbetriebnahme durchgeführt werden. Die Dampfstrahlölerschraube herausdrehen. Dazu muss das Dampfabsperrventil Oil. geschlossen sein. Yeah, Oil. Einige uh. Tropfen wie Lesco Dampfmaschinenöl in den Einfüllstutzen tropfen. Sofort das Schwungrad betätigen, damit das Öl angesaugt wird. Nun alle weiteren beweglichen Teile mit einem Tropfen Öl versehen. Während des Ölens darf kein Dampfdruck im Kessel bestehen. Den Brennschieber zweischichtig mit der vorgeschriebenen Anzahl Esbit Brennstofftabletten bestücken, die unteren flach, die oberen hochkant legen. Esbit anzünden und in die Brennschieberöffnung unter dem Kessel einschieben. Beachten Sie bitte, dass nach dem Betrieb der Brennschieber im noch warmen Zustand herausgezogen werden muss. Er kann sonst mit der Brennschieberführung verkleben. Bis der Betriebsdruck von ca. 1,5 Bar erreicht wird, kann es einige Minuten dauern. Ist der Betriebsdruck erreicht, das Dampfventil öffnen, durch Anschieben des Schwungrades die Maschine in Bewegung setzen. Mit dem Dampfabsperrventil die Geschwindigkeit regulieren. Bitte beachten Sie den Wasserstand im Kessel. Er darf den unteren Rand des Wasserstandglases nicht unterschreiten, da sonst Kesselschäden auftreten können. Der ölhaltige Abdampf sammelt sich in einem speziellen Kondenswasserbehälter im vorderen Teil des Kessels. Nach dem Betrieb des Kondenswasser durch Ausschütten entleeren. Damit das Modell fährt, Aha. Kupplungshebel einrücken, Schwungrad betätigen, die Maschine rollt. Wow. Nice. Can you, can you Very speak nice. Spanish? Más o menos. Sí, yo hablo español. Uh, ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué quieres? Yo hablo. Sí. Yo, I yeah, I, I speak pretty good, reasonably. Well, what did you just say then? Uh, so I said more or less, más o menos, more or less. Uh, what would you like me to say? ¿Qué quieres hablar? Um, yeah, I mean, I've been here 15 years, so I, 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 I should be able to speak. Uh, but you could get away with just speaking English, right? Would they speak <clears throat> English? Uh, especially on the coast, yeah, yeah, okay. especially on like coast. So it's, it's not like France where they refuse to speak English. No, I mean, if you go to um, like the touristy places in France, uh, I think. You know, like Cannes or, or Monaco, uh, yeah, they, yeah. they're going to speak uh, good good English, and it's the same here. I mean, th this place, you know, earns its income from tourism, mm -hmm. not just English people, but you know, tourists from from Scandinavia, Germany, and, and so on. And and the the default international language is 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 English. Uh, yeah. So yeah, they they have very high uh, high level of English proficiency. But go inland, like go to Madrid. You, you do, you do need that. Uh, you do need Spanish if you want to live there. Really, you, you can go there as a tourist and you'll be fine. But if you want to live there, then don't you then feel so need... grateful that the world language is English? <laughs> it's hard, it's very handy. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But it's also it's also um, it makes us. It's lazy. also a ne it's a negative because we've got it by default and yeah, exactly. You know, if you speak, say, uh, Dutch uh, or, or Swedish or whatever, whatever your language is, or Polish, then you probably do need to learn English for international. But, but yeah, my my Spanish is is pretty high standard, um, and it's it's also a very widely spoken language. Like you know, much of South America, Spain. I mean, it's a big it's a big portion of the world that are speaking Spanish. I, I can but, speak so, a little bit of Thai. Thai. Coppen, coppen Carb, Coppen Carb. Thank you. Is it cop, you. Coppen Carb? Coppen yeah. Carb. Yes, thank you. Coppen Carb. 
สวัสดีครับเอ่อบายราชทานซอยสามสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ so a man says cap and a lady says cap yes yeah, so like you lady, say a, you a say lady boy you, cap yes uh-huh. and a lady boy says uh, ha สวัสดีฮ่าอินวิสเลดี้บอยอ่าไนส์ไนส์ so it's not cat it's not cap it's ha yeah yeah what about in Thailand they speak a lot of English no the the people uh not really not really no did they not not really no wow. if you go to the obviously if you you're in Bangkok mm-hmm. if you're in like a bar they'll speak English in the bar because all their customers are English uh, speak English right yeah 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 and If you went to Starbucks, they'll all speak English, or a foreign-owned restaurant, they'll all speak English. Sure. Um, but in general, if, if if you're a tourist, that's typically yeah. all, the, all that you're going to come into contact with. You know, the hotel, yeah. the bar, the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the supermarket. Yeah, but if you live there, that's when you start to, you know, go to the local town hall to get registered, and that's when you you do encounter situations where you. You need a bit of time. Yeah, yeah, and like if you go to, like if you're driving and you go to a, a petrol station, you need mm-hmm. to tell them in in Thai how much money you want it put into your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, wow, that's interesting. So, what's so, your uh, what's your plans for the New Year, 20 New Year's Eve? What, what, what have you got uh, planned? On New Year's Eve, nothing. I don't have anything planned. Mm. No. Because the UK, and, and, like unless you're in like London or somewhere, it's 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 not you, you know in the UK like going out with the you know going out in town at midnight it's a bit dangerous these days. That's just full of idiots. And everyone's drunk and pissed and yeah. You know, All right, lads, let's get fucked tonight. <laughs> All right, love. Yeah, yeah. I can't be dealing with it. I'm, I'm happy just to just to be at home. I, I tell you what, I like on New Year's Eve is watching the um, like BBC One and seeing um, fireworks, seeing all the fireworks around the world as as each city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes midnight. You know, I actually did uh, one one year about probably about five six years ago. I went to London, and I went to the New Year's fireworks. River. On the river, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The Millennium Eye, they do all the yeah, 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 the, yeah. the River Thames, nice, nice. I, I did yeah, that. yeah. Did you? Was it good? Yeah, it's pretty amazing to be honest. Mm. Um, and it's not expensive. It's like a raffle. You you only pay about ten ah. pound per ticket, and you just have to, it's basically first come first serve in a, in a, in a ah, okay, yeah, yeah. But even that, I mean, it's uh, you know, it's crowdy. Uh, did you stay you in gotta, London? You have to queue up like hours before the event. Yeah, and it's cold. It's cold as yeah, well. It's cold, New Year's Eve wet. in London. Yeah, yeah. Did you stay in London that night, or did you yeah, get the train yeah. home after? I, no, no, no. I stayed in London because yeah, that's another thing. Like trying to trying to get the train after to get home. Yeah, yeah. forget that. Yeah. Yeah. I I I got I rented a Airbnb for the night because all the hotels are fully booked. Okay, right, right. Eve, right. Sure, sure. Do they um do they have any New Year's Eve traditions in Thailand? Um, it's kind I'll of same you, as I'll, the Western. I give you an example here. They do this thing where you you have twelve. I think it's twelve grapes, uvas, and you have to the countdown to midnight, like the twelve seconds. You have to pop the the grapes and eat them. Like one oh. per second, something like that. Wow, so it's, it's it's quite difficult, you know, to get twelve grapes down before before the clock goes. That's interesting. No, I haven't seen yeah. anything like that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Otherwise, mate, I just just be with the family and then come midnight, go to bed. Happy but you days. know that you you know the Thai New Year, don't you? The Thai version of New Year. Is it the beach on the beach? No, the. Moon, the, the, the The Thai New Year is when they throw water at each other. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. No. It's called Song no. Kran, which basically means Thai New Year, and yeah. it's a water festival. The modern version is they literally, you know, spray water at each other. Mm-hmm. But the traditional way is 
you would go to the temple and you'll get a cup of water and you'd pour the water over the um, the Buddha. Yeah. And then pray. And you would you would possibly wash you'd wash your mum's feet in water or you'd trickle water over her head. Nice. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Did they uh, did your missus ask you to do it for her no, mum? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's that's where it gets a bit no, complicated. She yeah, she doesn't. Know. Yeah, no. Uh, the guy David was asking, "Where's the world time?" I'm wearing uh, the Reverso these days. Very nice. Yeah. I only have uh, three watches. Three, three watches. I, 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 you know, I used to have the bluesy. I got rid of that. So, um, I think I'm done. Don't really have any interest in uh, chasing more watches and. You know, but it just, never ends, does it? It never doesn't ends. end, mate. No, it's a bloody nightmare. And it's not nice, uh, you know, for your brain to constantly be chasing more, 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 like consumerism, more, 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 more. Because it is so consumerism, because a new model, a new color, a new dial, a new this, a new yeah. that. And, and then you yeah. always think you've got the, you've, you feel like, oh, I've got the old one, right? Mm. Uh, yeah. Did I, did you get the, is it the, is it the pre ceramic or the ceramic yeah. blues? Oh yeah, I don't like that one. I like I like the one with the white dial and or they, nah, just... they make a new uh, updated caliber and you're like, oh shit, mine's got the old caliber and yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I, I wear the I wear the reverso most days, and then I got the weld time which I use for special occasions, like special, special occasions. Um and then I got my um my Amiga Seamaster, uh, which is like a sporty it's on a rubber strap it's a sporty watch which i uh i mean i did wear that quite a bit but i'm wearing this mostly at the minute so yeah i think as well in today's age it, it can be it can be so problematic walking around with a luxury mm. watch mm. and Definitely. even if you're doing business even if you're in business uh sense do you want to show off to your clients that you've got you know 30 40 thousand pound on your wrist uh no no not really not at all not at all and that's that's why the reverso just it just ticks the box because it's 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 it has class right it's and class if you know watch. you know if you know you know and the average joe would probably wouldn't have a clue yeah yeah did you like the uh the picture i sent you of the the bag when we yeah yeah, yeah 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 my missus uh, watched the other day you like that? that? Was interesting. Yeah, I liked it. That was it was, wasn't it? I'm gonna show it for the um, for whoever uh, is on that. I've not. I mean, I haven't shown it. <clears throat> so, I bought um, the missus a watch uh, from Patek uh, two weeks ago, and at the end of the basically when we were about to leave, they uh, they they kind of ushered us towards uh you know walking out the shop with a uh, a supermarket bag <laughs> but they did it they did it in a very discreet way it wasn't it wasn't like here you go sir you know it was so did she tell you beforehand that what she was going to do or she just uh no no so we did okay. the whole buying of the watch and the misses and the smiles and what all that stuff and then at the end her assistant came across and it was time to like bag it all up to leave. Yeah. yeah. And she said, do you mind? Like, she, you know, it was very polite. I just knew, yeah. Yeah. It, it was just like, yeah, no problem. Good, good idea. Like, because the last time we, we bought a watch, she offered for her um, assistant to walk with us to the car, like as a bit of, you know, cause he was quite a big tall guy, like a yeah, security yeah. guard for the shop. Yeah. So they're, they're very security conscious because the last thing they want is you walking out of the shop with, say, um, the brand of the shop. Yeah, and then and if and, you got robbed, that would be all over the news right. and bad name for them. It'd be a disaster, hit and run, literally just walking out the shop. Um, it'd be an absolute disaster. But yeah, so that's that's what she got, and we're left with this, and it's all cool. 
But it's interesting it what you say about the umbrella. I didn't really think about it, but you're correct. And you said before, when are you going to use that umbrella? Because do you want to walk around the street no. to a petek umbrella? <laughs> no, mate, not at all, not at all. Because it's it's like yeah. putting a light, a, 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 like a I halo over, over your, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's got it's got like Patek Philippe logo all around the the umbrella when it's when it's up. So. You know, I said to her, oh, I'm not sure we can use that, but yeah, thank you. Thanks for the gift. So, but it, this is the this is the sign of the times. This is the times. It's, I suppose it, thinking more deeply about it, I suppose it's the same as going to the bank. And the cashier will say, Do you want an envelope to put yeah. your money in the envelope, right? Hmm. I, I guess in a in a way it's it's kind well, of Well what you what you gotta do like when you bought the watch is wear the watch put the box in the bag or maybe put the watch instead of on your wrist put it in your inside pocket or whatever you know it's a whole yeah it's a whole operation um but you know the, we could we we looked outside the window at the shop we could see the street was clear no one was around so it was all cool because and someone no could issue. be someone could be waiting mm. watching you purchasing and then waiting around and then the spotters the spotters. Yeah. And I, I had my world time. She also had her world time. So there's there's two watches straight away, plus the new one we just bought. So we've gone with three watches out of the shop, basically. It's it would have been perfect time to do the robbery. So, so when when you purchased that watch, was it a prearranged appointment or did you walk in there looking? Yeah. Or no 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 no. So so we we bought her the the world time uh october last year we then got given a free strap which was it took about four months to arrive we went and got that strap in about february or march this year and it was at this moment i said to, to the woman that it would be good to also like you know they talk about oh what do you want next like they, yeah. they try and lead you on the sales cycle. We said, oh, we'd, we'd like something that she can wear every day. And then the woman said, oh, what about this, the 24? And we yeah. said, yeah, let's get that. And then it, it took from then, February or March, till I got, I, she called me on the 5th of December and said it had arrived. And I said to her, well, just I'll pay for it because I had to pay for it like that day by bank transfer. I said, but we, we don't want to get it until the 15th, which is her birthday. Oh. And then they write, you know, the, the certificate with her birthday on it, like Marcelo did. Um, so, yeah, it, it was, I mean, I knew all the full details, but my wife didn't. It was a surprise. Yeah, yeah. And it was difficult because her, her father died uh, on the 13th, it's like two days oh. before her birthday. And it was just like, oh, fuck, you know. Yeah, it's not said, exactly the best moment. Yeah, yeah I, I said to her, you know, I've got a surprise for you. Do you shall I delay it? And she said, no, no, no. We, 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 you know, cause she, she saw the illusion that I had built up to make her this uh, special birthday. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so she she agreed uh, we, we'd go and go ahead. and But she didn't know where we were going or, or what. Um, okay. So, yeah, yeah, that's the story. Wow. That's an amazing uh, birthday present. Yeah. Hey, hey, Ozzy. Good to see you, mate. Hey, Ozzy. So, but that's it. You know, I'm not really. The, the good thing is now they like at the shop, Patek. They're not saying, "Oh, what's next?" We haven't reached that. Like, yeah, because I was about to say, what if the shop calls you and say, "Hey, we got something coming in. Are you yeah. possibly interested?" Yeah, yeah. See, I have nothing on order. I haven't ordered anything and it's just it's just you know at the end of the sale it was thank you very much we'll speak soon so that's where the relationship is at so if they called you and says hey you know you've been a great customer would you be interested in that or not that's coming in would you say yes or would you say no hell no um probably say yes <laughs> uh, but i don't i don't want to I really don't. <laughs> I really, really don't want to, uh, but it would be a bit too hard to refuse. It, it feels, you know, like FOMO, fear of missing out. Okay. Um, because my my focus now is not watches. 
I feel I feel that I've got too much in watches. My yeah. focus now is is things like the stock market, investing in the stock market, and that's that's what I've started. So mm -hmm. I want I want this year to be about all Learning my money more, that more I can more. put it in the markets. Uh, would you say that you're the kind of person uh, that once you get your mind onto something, you 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 get obsessed and you learn everything and anything about that subject, and then once you've learned everything, you're like, all right, done. What's next? Yeah, no, I'm I'm very um, I'm very simple. Like I, I have I have very simple vision of what needs to be done, like the boxes that need to be ticked. So. I've already, I've already on my notes uh, made my plan for 2023. So it, it's, it's, it basically I need to tick these boxes. These are like my goals. I need to tick mm -hmm. these boxes throughout the year. So, um, so by the end of Q1 2023, I, I want to put a 50,000 euros into the stock market. Mm -hmm. By the end of Q3, another 50,000. Uh, by the end of Q1, I want another 15. Uh, into crypto. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, during 2023, I want to put 50,000 euros aside for my daughter's like college yeah. later in life, um, and then some more cash into my wife's account. So I have these one, two, three, five boxes that need ticking. Okay, okay. That's my focus 2023. Watches, if, it, if I include watches, that's going to derail because these watches are not cheap. Like, they can say an aquanaut and it could be 20, 30, 40 grand, you know, mm -hmm. and that, that's going to really disrupt my plan. So, yeah, the plan this year is not watches at all. When I say this year, 2023, that's coming. Yes, 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 yes. Conrad, good to see you. Conrad's a cool guy. We, we had a good cigar in, in Vegas. Nice. Really good, really good guy. Hmm. Yeah, nice, nice. But I didn't, I didn't like. We didn't really want to go ahead with that purchase, but we said to her in February, March to order it. She ordered it. It came in December, and it, you know it's like fifteen grand. So I said, oh, let's get it because because it was it did it did actually serve a purpose of giving her a watch that she could wear every day. Yeah, yeah. Because that's that's what the twenty four is all about. That the twenty four is is a watch that. For the woman to wear every day, every yeah. hour, at, yeah. at a nice dinner, at a nice uh, event, a ballroom event, or, or even at the school gate, it's it's and and also it's the kind day. of watch that an average Joe probably wouldn't know what it is, right? Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, and it it goes well because I've I got my um my reverso her her twenty four uh, looks. It, it looks design, very yeah. similar. Yeah, it looks very similar. Very, very similar. I haven't got a um, picture of them side by side. But yeah, it looks it looks very similar together. Would you have any more children if you could choose? No, I, 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 I can One choose. And, and the plan is not to have any more children. Okay. Yeah, I'm done with that subject. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's hard. It's a it's a beautiful thing, and it's been incredible. And it's, but yeah, I'm just not interested. No, I I I chose not to have children. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think I I think I do want to have a child, but I'm just not at that place in my life at the moment. Yeah, well, I, I take it, you know, as my responsibility. If, if I have a child, you know, I've got to, I've got to feed her, I've got to close. Yeah, her. and that's and that's my reasonings is because I'm not stable <coughs> enough to 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 do that. Yeah, educate her. You know, these these things are expensive, like mm -hmm. very expensive, and and to be I live in a I live in a two bedroom flat, and I'm happy in a two bedroom flat, and I don't want more than a two bedroom flat. And if I have another child, I need bigger. I need a bigger place. And mm. the school fees, you know, I've got to, got to pay school fees. It's not free. It's, it's, I've got to pay fees. And I uh, want her to go, you know, hopefully to university. That's not free. So, yeah, um, we're just not under any... Paid. Sorry, we're, even we're when not, she's we're, 18, yeah. it doesn't stop, does it? 
No, 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 exactly. And I, w- I wouldn't want it to stop. I want to, you know, set her up, give her, you know, funding to start a business or whatever. And, you know, I want to guide her and support her and, you know, hopefully give her the platform to, to, to I th- get I think a head you're a start. Very good dad. I think you're a very good dad. Yeah. Well, I do, I do what I can. And, um, so far it's been it's been a pleasure like raising this child it's been it's been a a nice experience but I I just fear if I had if I have maybe another one or two it's going to complicate things and I'm the one that's going to feel the pressure my you know my wife doesn't work I I have the pressure on me and I don't want it I just don't want it I don't I don't need it I'm happy in my life I just don't feel the need for more pressure yeah the pressure is the big one Hmm. Would you think it would be the same if it was a boy? Do you have preferences over boys versus girls? Because I do. I wanted a boy. Um, I really wanted to have a boy. Uh, but having a daughter has been nice. It's been lovely. I, she's, my she's, personal she's a great girl. Be a girl. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Because I know I knew how I was as a boy, and I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that, that's what I, that's my mindset. Yeah, yeah. Well, she she's been she's been a pleasure to to raise so far. Eight years old, and she's a good kid, great kid. And but um, I think it also comes down to the parents <coughs> as well, right? Of course, I believe any bad person could become good depends on the parent. Yeah. Um. Hi, Colin. Colin's from the uh, Walesco community. Nice. Um, we've got some uh, Walesco oil here, which came with the uh, came with the uh, steam steam engine. So they do they have different types of oil? I've no idea, mate. Absolutely no idea. Colin, if you want to jump on, the link is pinned. You're very welcome to come on. Come on, because we're we're complete amateurs. We have no clue. But I can tell from your uh, avatar that you you know what you're talking about because you've got a steam engine. Yeah, this is the D21 steam engine, which it kind of looks like the one in your in your avatar. Yeah, poss- possibly the same. Yeah. Having a daughter is special, definitely. But yeah, no no preference. I mean. You know, if I got a boy, it would have been fun. But like, like for example, my daughter, she went to a birthday party at, at the weekend. Um, not at the weekend, sorry, yesterday. Uh, Monday, Monday, Boxing Day. And one of the boys spat in the face of another boy. Yeah, that's the yeah. kind of stuff I don't like. It's yeah. like, what the hell? And, the, girls you know, really do, the girls wouldn't do that. No, like my... Um, my so a lot of the parents they just leave their kids at the birthday party and clear off you know it's their it's their time to get away well my my wife she stays at the birthday party with with the host family or whatever and there's a few mums that stay and a few well many that leave well this little boy you know he's he's a delinquent and um, i don't think i could handle it as a parent to see that i imagine that happened to your son or daughter and some random kid that spits in your mm. kid's I don't, I don't know what I'd end up doing. <laughs> well, you, you don't want to, you know, you've got to, you've got to hold it yeah, together. But, so I think one of the other mums took him to one side and said, Leo, we don't do this. Spitting is wrong. We don't do this. And, you know, he gives her the attitude, oh, you know, and then he runs off. And what can you do? It, it is. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it, it takes down the commu- it, it, it takes the... You know, it says um, it takes the community to raise a child, like the village to raise a child. So, you know, as a class of kids from the same school, all the mums are looking out for all the all the kids, like you know, treating them as their own, and yeah, you know. But yeah, if because the parent the doesn't will, care, then the the kid might listen to an outside, like a technically outsider, like if you as the dad. Mm says don't do this you, they hear it all day from you right yeah but if yeah. someone else says hey you know what i don't think that's a good idea they might listen sure. to it but it's an out more of an outsider yeah 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 
but yeah, all the bad, you know, the bad influences. You've also got to be careful of those influences spilling over into your into your child. Um, you know, your child picking up the bad habits. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. Actually, we've had those experiences. You know, even with my own daughter, she started doing a bit of the spitting, and it's like, nah, you're not. Or, or picking up some bad words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mal palabras, <laughs> very bad words. Yeah, yeah. By the way, Colin has got a few messages for you. Uh, he's got the uh, he's got the he's got the Willesco D twenty one. Nice, very nice. How how often do you um, do you fire it up, Colin? Because I've I, I don't use mine off too much. It's it's been a while. How often do you use yours? And what year did you buy it? Mm. Ozzy, Ozzy's got. Um, I think Ozzy's got three kids, three or four. Yeah, I know he's got a newborn. But how 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 about you, um, Lux? How many did you grow up with? Was you an only child, or did you have brothers uh, and sisters? I have a sister, older sister. Just just one. Yeah, just yeah. One. See, I, I I grew up in a house with with brothers and sisters, so you know it, it is a bit. Uh, it would be nice, but yeah, I just want to give the max that I can, and I'm just sure that if I have three or four, it's going to complicate things. Yeah, yeah, and and also the bigger the family, the more issues and drama, and you know. yeah, but you do get the pressure, like from uh, like my dad, for example, he's like. Oh come on! You know you can't just have one. Oh, I hate that. I really hate yeah, when, yeah. when when family members are saying you need to do this, you need to do that. You know, it's sure. just like it never ends. No. And, and then you're living your life to to make them happy, not to make right. yourself happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's all fun for them because they get the grandkid, you know, from time to time, and it's all it's a joy. Yeah, I can imagine that being a grandparent is brilliant. You know, they're at the end of their their time, so to speak. They don't have to raise the kid. It's uh, it's it's just a sheer joy to to have a grandchild on their lap. Yeah, uh, take yeah. take the grandkid shopping and take them to the party. Yeah, it's because they fun. get to experience the the good little things, right? They're not dealing yeah. with it all day, twenty four hours a day. <laughs> yeah, but things have changed. Things have changed, right? I I, I think back in the day, three or four kids was the norm you know it's perfectly fine but nowadays it's less less is more people are chasing careers and whatnot we're all busy yeah but it's, it's not just about careers well it, it is but 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 don't you think that life is a lot harder these days than what it was 50 years ago or or maybe i'm wrong yeah i mean i've not lived 50 years ago yeah, that's um, saying, yeah. so uh but they didn't necessarily have it easy. Like, yeah, yeah, that's his... what I'm saying. Maybe I'm wrong because I know they didn't. Yeah, have different issues, different issues. You hear your grandparents telling their stories. Like, I, I remember my nan sort of saying she was one of seven, and you know they do the the hand me downs. Like, her dress no longer fits her. It gets passed to her little sister, and but they grew up happy, right? They weren't necessarily rich, but they grew up happy. And but what I mean correct. is, like, um, <coughs> let's say 50 years ago, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, wasn't the average house, the price of the house, probably like hmm. 20, 15, 20 times the yearly salary? Yeah, okay, proportionately, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now Pro probably. it's like, I don't know, 40 years, 40 times your yeah. annual salary or something. Right, right, it's out of, out of kilter. Yeah. So yeah, the yeah. average new buyer is nearly impossible for them to mm. buy a house, whereas in the in the sixties, seventies, it was easy, easier. I mean, you you just do the maths, right? I, I'll tell you the maths to get on the ladder here in in Spain. So, an average apartment in this area, like just a modest, normal apartment, yeah. might be three hundred thousand, right? And that's that's not much dissimilar to, to many parts of the UK, right? Yeah. Two, 250, 300 grand gets you a modest uh, home. So in Spain, you need 20% as a deposit, 
-hmm. So let's say your, your apartment is 300 grand. You need 60 grand as your deposit and 80% uh, as, you, as you're borrowing. So your mortgage is 80%. So 20% you need in cash, which is 60 grand. Plus, you also need 10% of the purchase price, which is for your taxes, the notary fees, the lawyers, and so on. So basically, to get on the ladder here for, for a modest apartment, you need, you need 30%. 30% of 300 grand is 90 grand. That's mm -hmm. the barrier to get on. That's the barrier to entry. To so get you're probably, on the probably looking at like four year salary or something. Three, four yeah, but how do, you, how do you save up 90 grand? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's but that's 100% like of the salary without any bills or living expenses. Yeah. And then you've, you're also living in this, you know, time where people aren't so much saving. They're, they're, you know borrowing if anything they're taking on debt uh you know they get the iphone on debt they get the cars on finance all sorts of finance so yeah i just yeah it's not easy to to get on the ladder mm -hmm. uh yeah sorry mate colin i wanted to tell you again that you can also use vintage motor oil sae 30 for oiling yeah i've not reached that stage i've I've got the the standard oil which came with it, and then I've also got a spare one, uh, which I can fill it up. But yeah, when when it does come to oiling, I would prefer to buy something locally than than to order it from uh, from Walesco. Aussie, fuck the ladder. <laughs> yeah, what's he saying? Uh, if if you hear my boy say a swear word, it wasn't from me. Must have been the daycare, exactly. <laughs> Do you, know, do you know how much it costs to buy a house in Thailand? Like a brand new, modern, you know, four-star quality. What, in like, Bangers or where? It can be, but yeah, anywhere in Thailand. Bangers, any major city. I know I know. Bangkok is quite pricey. It's actually not. It depends on where in not? Bangkok. If okay. you're on, as long as you're on the outskirts of Bangkok. Not mm -hmm. in the central city center, obviously. Okay, because I know like some of these... These modern skyscrapers, a few hundred grand, three, three hundred thousand. Yeah, I, I'm pounds. talking about average. I'm not talking about luxurious. Okay, average, mm -hmm. average. Not bottom of the barrel, but average. Tell me, what, 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 what's the cost? Oh, okay. So you can get a one bedroom, average, brand new condo. Let's say, okay, in the city center mm -hmm. next to the trains that, you know, the sky trains yeah. and all of that. You can get that for forty thousand pound. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. You could get a house on the outskirts of the city with direct train links for um, sixty thousand pound. Yeah, yeah. Um, out of Bangkok in another city. You could get a really nice house, three three bedroom house. Yeah, sixty thousand pounds. What, what's the deal with uh, foreign ownership? Uh, foreigners can own condos and apartments. They can own condos. condos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you I can't think it's own half the land. building. Is it half the building is available yes, for yes, yes, foreigners yes, and yes. half for locals? Yeah, forty nine yeah. percent can be foreigners and fifty one mm -hmm. can be Thai. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. okay, okay, yeah, interesting. So yeah, you you could you can have the title in your name, but yes, it's a yes. lease, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lease. Uh, but it's the for, same for the condo. It's it's all yours. You own it for a condo. A hundred percent, you own it. Uh, free is it not? Is uh, it's a freehold. Okay, yeah. just but a free... house, a house mm -hmm. because you can never own the land. You can mm. own the building, but you have to rent or lease the okay. land. Okay, like a ground rent for the for yeah. the land. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 the same here. You know, if you have say a plot of land which has got twenty apartments in the sky, you can't physically own the land in the sky. So, okay. yeah, you yeah. Know, and that that physical piece of land with the red felt tip pen on on the uh, on on the land registry, um, someone owns it, and then you pay your ground rent. Uh, but but you own the apartment on 
I don't know, 99 year lease or 250 year or 999 year lease. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no lease. You own it, you own it. Mm -hmm. But what you do have to pay is a maintenance for like uh, elevators and. Yeah, community fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we pay community fee as well as well. But we, we get we get good value for our community fee. We we pay um I think it's about two hundred euros every three months. And you know, we've got a really good swimming pool, we've got twenty four hour security, the the gardens are beautiful, like there's you know, palm trees and mm -hmm. very well maintained gardens. So it feels like we get good value for uh for yeah. that. And there's, there's always the cleaner, like you see the cleaners clean in the communal yeah. areas. So you, you see you see people working. You'd have it like a gym as well, right? You got a gym. Uh, not in our one. Not in our one. We, we've just got the the outdoor pool, uh, and then the security guard, and then you know they they clean clean the gardens, clean the communal areas. And have it you got like uh, parking spaces, like designated? Yeah, yeah, parking. yeah, yeah. We underground is is the garage, but. But we own that garage space. Each each apartment owns their space. Mm -hmm. So they're like 20 grand if you want to buy, you know, if you want to sell the space separately, like 20 grand, that's what they go for. Like if you buy, if you buy an apartment off plan, as an add-on, you can add a space, which would be like 20 grand, 15, 20 grand. Well. That's what they charge. Well. Yeah. And that but 20 you grand... It. You could buy a studio in, in Bangkok. Yeah, well, you need you need a space. You, you, you've got to have a parking space, otherwise, you, you know, you park your car outside, which is a which is a big no no, right? From, from Archie, you don't you don't park your. Uh, oh yeah, you got, yeah, no. You've got to have a garage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, yeah. When when are you, are you planning to get back to Thailand in the new year? What what's your plan yeah, for twenty twenty three? I'll be there in the new year. Yeah, I'll mm. be there. Yeah, because I, I got I got I got my girlfriend and stuff over there. So sure, sure. Have you been to Vietnam? No, I have never been. Uh huh. Never been. I I, I want I do want to go there. I've mm. been to uh, Hong Kong, Cambodia, um, Singapore. Myanmar. Yeah, I've been to Singapore. Um, where else? Uh, in Asia, North Korea. No, I haven't chosen. I haven't been able to go to North Korea. <laughs> you know they do tours. Have you seen the tours? I do. I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, it looks really interesting, to be honest. Yeah, there's Young Pioneer Group (YPG). There you go. Uh, there's another one, Korea Tours. K O R Y O. I just Tours. wish so that you you weren't stuck with a guide. They literally follow you and control every aspect of the tour. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't mind that. I mean, but you can't even like walk across the road alone. You literally sure uh, you have your yeah. minder. Yeah, yeah, but I'm okay with that. I mean, it's it it it's. I would just find it interesting to go there. You know that. Yeah, yeah. So many people haven't been there, and I mean, you're, you you know you. Do. Don't yeah. don't don't take one of the the posters and put them in your suitcase. I've heard people try wall. to do that. The last guy that did that, he ended up, he ended up dead, didn't he? He, he they, they released it. He got sentenced to prison. Is it Otto Warmbier? Otto Warmbier. His I name? can't remember the name. I can't remember. Yeah, he, he he got released in the end, but by the time he reached America, he was Mal malnutrition or something, right? He was. I, he had something wrong, and he died. He died within a very short period of time. Of arriving back, but you know, he obviously took the thing off the wall, and I mean that's, that's apparently that's... you can buy souvenir uh, posters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll buy. We'll buy. Listen, we if I take... go to North Korea, I'm not going to to fuck things up. I'm. Can you imagine Archie to... in North Korea? <laughs> oh man! <yeah>. Oh, you moly! <laughs> Yeah, North Korea would be interesting, but it's a little bit, you know, it's off. It's it would probably cause because you know my wife. I talked to her about me going there, and it just causes too much 
anxiety you know with her yeah, and yeah, yeah you yeah. can't go there why would you want to go there and you're not going there and also do you think it could cause issues having stamps of north korea in your passport definitely definitely it, it won't it won't cause uh to the point that you can't live but it, it, it can cause question, an issue. Questions, like, like, added questions. Why were well, you in North Korea? What were you doing there? Exactly. When you the problem is is when you do the Esther, there's a there's a there's there's a question on the Esther form. Have you been in the last two years? Syria, Iraq, Libya, North Korea, like there's certain countries that are on that yeah. list. Yeah. And uh, if you tick yes, straight away you've hit the uh, algorithm. Ding, you, ding, ding. Your, your Esther gets rejected and you've got to go and get a formal visa from uh, the US Embassy, you know, to do the interview, um, to go. If you've already got an Esther, because it lasts like two years, I think, if you've already got an Esther, then, you know, upon arriving in America, you're going to get, you're going to get a bit of hassle. Um, but you, you can answer the questions, you know, you're not up to no good. You just say you went there as a tourist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah it's it's interesting like even even if you go to israel I, I i went to israel and i got these stamps in my passport from tunisia and it was just oh my god it was just it was just horrendous i, I don't know the political situation what's the problem with tunisia well it, it, it it's basically it's an arab country um oh. so you know why did you go to tunisia who do you know in tunisia Oh, that's a bit strange. Why would you go to Tunisia? No, you know, it's just strange. Just questioning. You know, to... I hate that word. You know, you, you know when um, you, you're dealing with any government officials, whether it's police or border control or anything like that. Mm, this is strange. This is not normal. Mm. What, what what's wrong with being strange? Is it a crime to be strange? Yeah, yeah. I had it. I had it when I went to uh, Vegas when when I was at the um, at the border. Uh, you know customs uh, where you sh where you you know you're coming yeah, into yeah. America because uh, I was tr basically traveling alone and he, he he just asked me these questions: What's the purpose of your trip uh, to America? Oh, I'm coming to see uh, you know a load of guys from YouTube. Uh, yeah, that's that's a red flag straight away. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. I know, I know. He's like, what for? I said, oh, you know, we're all, we're all into watches. He's like, okay, oh, you're going to a convention. You're coming for business. No, 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 it's not, it's no business, not a convention. It's just we, we, we all watch, uh, you know, these YouTube live streams. Um, <laughs> and um, we're all into watches and we've decided to have a meetup in, uh, in Vegas. He's like, all right, what, what's their names? I'm like, I don't know their names, right? Because. <laughs> So, so you're I coming start, over after across the world to meet strangers and, and from the internet. Yeah, yeah. So I, so I started reeling off the names. I was like, Air King Ben, Archie Luxury, Tim Red Wright, Shovel. Red Shovel, <laughs> uh, Carlton Chrono. Yeah, all these names. He just looked, he's just like look, looking <laughs> at me fuck? like, what the hell? And then he goes, what are you wearing on your wrist? So in uh, particularly world time 5231J, like just just hit yeah. him straight with bang 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 <laughs> and he's just like on you go you know because yeah, he knew you, you you were talking the truth yeah yeah because if you know if, if i didn't know what i'm if i made the whole thing up and then he says oh what's that on your wrist and he says, oh yeah it's a uh, protect philippe and he says oh what's the model number and i don't know then yeah basically my whole story has has flaws in it crumbling yeah hey dodger how you doing mate it was it was off the cuff. Just just wanted to have a nice cigar and fire up the steam engine. But, oi, um, oi. Yeah, yeah. I want I want to go um, to the UK. You know some of these watch events like the London Watch Show. I want to do. I want to yeah, go and see yeah. some of the guys next year. Like the I think it's uh, Watch Pro Salon. I think that's yeah yeah. Much... I went to the the most recent watch. Ah. Pro. Yeah, it was good. No, it was. It, yeah, yeah, it's pretty interesting. yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. So I want, I want to, I want to go to that. But that's not until later. The only in the thing year, with the UK it? events, they're quite small. They're very small. These events mm. in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's about the the, the guys like that I've found. It's uh, yeah, yeah. 
the, the backdrop is the event. But yeah, because you can it's look at really watches about that. Anyway, right? Yeah, and it wasn't even that interesting for me to just look at these watches anyway. It was it was more about meeting up, seeing Dodger, seeing seeing Archie, seeing Tim, seeing mm -hmm. uh, so many in Nicholson. You know, so many guys um, at these events like Alex. You know, that's yeah, really what it's all about. T and Tickers. You know, all the cool guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to. To, to come into some of those next year. Did you see her when uh, me and Archie had a a little scuffle on live stream last night or yesterday? I didn't see you wasn't on there. No, I I, I heard what he was saying about you because I, I watched it back. I, I jumped on about. Oh, you jumped 40, on. Yeah, about forty minutes into it, I jumped on. <laughs> ah, I missed it then. I, I missed it because I was I was fast forwarding through. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so what's what happened? Because I heard you he was saying about your your Chrono Twenty Four plan, and uh... oh, it, it was I mean, it was complete nonsense. He was basically <laughs> he was pissed off because I didn't cover him for his show. Right, so the show blind. didn't go on. It didn't go on. There was no show because yeah. I was busy, and I was busy with my own business dealings. So then he went on his stream saying, what the fuck is a delusional fantasist? A one-man band trying to take over Chrono 24. I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? I'm not trying to take over anything. <laughs> so then, yeah. He was but you could thing. see the, like, if you just, if you want the barometer of what he's saying and whether it's fair or not, you just read the chat and the chat was basically all coming to your defense. Yeah, I know. I noticed that. Leave him alone. Like, it wasn't, yeah, I it wasn't right. He was burning you. The, the thing that pissed me off is that just talk to me. Just talk to yeah, me. Yeah. Why do you need to put it all over the internet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's Archie. That's Archie. It, it, it's all, it's all part of the, the drama, and yeah, he, he, he might he might even have just the tiniest detail that you've told him, and he's just run with it. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, not. He's yeah. not even got the full facts. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't know. He doesn't know anything of what I'm doing. He doesn't know anything. Yeah. So you, what's your plan? You're gonna take on Chrono? No, I'm not taking the... on Chrono 24. What the <laughs> fuck? Do you think I've got millions in the bank? Well, you, you, they were they were guessing how much you need. I yeah, mean, yeah Someone said half a million. A million. And, yeah, and a team of fourteen. <laughs> Did you see that the? Um, the uh, watch trader uh, were raided. You all right, yeah, Ozzy? Alex. Alex told hey, me. good morning. Morning, mate. Oh, Is that a toast? Yeah. <laughs> Unintentionally uh, artistic. Okay. <laughs> toast and Tickers, the new YouTube channel from Ozzy Expat. Yeah, did you see that, the, the watch trader? I'm not sure. Yeah, of the, full the, the full police report. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm skeptical of anything reported by the police. Like uh, half the time, if someone reports something in themselves, like they're doing the right thing, where they go, "Oh, it looks like I've encountered some stolen goods or something like that, or whatever." It's like, "How about you come down, pick it up?" To you know, we're, we're reporting it yeah. in. Yeah. Then, then the police would go out and say, "Well, watch trader was caught with blah 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 with stolen watches and stuff like that." It's like, no, we we did the right thing here. It's like you know, so I'm not. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I'd I'd be very skeptical of because they're to what the police their, say. their business. Their business is uh, still operating. They're they're pumping out their videos. It's business as usual. It could be that a load of watches were on consignment. Um, that were from a you know group of people that are not. Um, is this the right one? Am I on the right one? I'm I'm just going to the gentleman. Oh. I'm on, I'm yeah, on I, I mean, uh, a, a dealer is not a uh, omnipotent, you know what I mean? So, uh, well, what exactly are they meant to do? You know, yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Ultimately, what are they? I mean, I, I'm sure they've done uh, the right thing with respect to uh, secondhand goods. You know, uh, taking taking goods from the public, which is you know, you got to get government ID and stuff like that. So, I, I'd be surprised if uh, this was like. Th they were a legitimate, you know, a, a bona fide fence, and uh, you know the cop cops caught them red-handed. I, I, I can't imagine mm. the cops have done any work at all in terms of preventing uh, stolen watch criminality. 
Yeah. Um, and instead of just putting up <laughs> billboards in London saying, hey, don't wear your watch, guys. Sure. So just, just reading it, in October this year, they see the number of high-value watches from Watch Trader and Co. as part of an on ongoing investigation. A number of these watches are likely to be the property of individual cut. So maybe they were stolen watches that, that had gone to Watch Trader and then Watch Trader um, you know, they it, blew it? the whistle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Nothing exactly. To, and and, and the place don't give a shit. They, they don't mind what the headline reads, you know what I mean? Oh, they see, they make it sound, but, but C's could, is just a, how would we say, there's no other word for it. Yeah, they've told, they've reported it as it is, the truth. I mean, they could say taken possession, but, I, or, and, and, and watch trader alerted them to it or something like that. But, you know, they don't have to care about the reputation of, of a business. They can besmirch them if they feel like it. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't it, sue it, the police for defamation. You know what I mean? And watch trader are probably in a tricky position where they can't just come out and say what it is because they're under, you know, legal. Well, no one's in a good so. position to start bad mouthing the police if they've got direct interactions mm -hmm. with them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No one's in a good mm -hmm. position for that. Yeah, yeah. Alex had a fake watch on his Instagram page hinting to a well, yeah. Yeah, speculation. Say la vie. How are you doing, Ozzy? How's it been? How's the holidays? Oh, my son's been really handful. <laughs> really? <laughs> just a handful, I gotta say. Yeah, he's he just wants to be the boss. He just wants to be the boss. Like yesterday, I I put him in timeout for. Geez, I can't even remember. But you know he. Like, like yesterday, I, I caught him opening up the piano uh, stool, yeah, and and then sneakily spitting into it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's he's like this, and I, I'm from across the room at my wow. desk. Normally, I'm facing this way, but I'm I turned around just for that thing, and I see him. Oh my god! <laughs> and then, and then he turns they, around. They, they, they can't. He realized he's got. He was like, <laughs> at, at that age, off. they they can't even do a proper spit Evo. It's like a little dribble. No, he drills like, out. A, he dribbled out yeah. a little bit, and yeah. and he just ran off. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so what? What does timeout? It. How does timeout look? What, what What do you do as a timeout? It varies, but, you know, we try read the, the books on what it's supposed to be. But, uh, you know, I, I don't actually use it as a punishment. Um, I it, It's really just a place for him to calm down. Yeah. And, and so so in that case, he didn't get time out because he wasn't actually angry or upset or something like that. So, mm -hmm. Junior, you got to apologize to mum. You just spat in, on her piano book. Um, but often it's the case that, if he's confronted and he's told to apologize, that he'll get angry. He's very defensive. Yeah, so then once he once he gets into that into that state, we're not going to have it where he's just screaming and yelling at us. And look, the alternative is, and and so we put him in his room, and we've got this little little thing. And you know, I, I'm, I'm I'm sad to say that I have to lock him in there. Now I've tried many times to just say, look, timeout doesn't have to be lo uh, locked in your room, Junior. Like you can just sit in this chair. And that's your timeout. Yeah. But if you can't sit in the chair and and you insist on just screaming and yelling and, and, and punching or stuff like that, then then it has then it has to be that. So as soon as he's ready to not, you know, be yeah. literally just escalating and escalating and escalating, because that's what will happen actually. Is just mm. it 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 will not calm down. So if if you just try and deal with it. Uh, you know, and try calm him down in his presence. He, he you're yeah. the person he's angry with, so it's it's yeah. not really plausible, you know, to to calm calm him down while he's like that. It can go on for hours if you just, of course, because they're know, stubborn as well. They they don't. Someone has to give in. Is it going to be you or him? And yeah. the person who gives in, he, you know, it feels like you can't lose. You're the you're yeah. the parent. I, you're the you're the alpha. You've got to have the authority. Exactly. But sometimes so he, for me, like with, with my daughter, to, the way I do it is like I come down to a level, yes. like same head level, and I say, 
come, give me a cuddle, give me a cuddle. It's okay, just give me a cuddle. And that, yeah. and that just, you know, it just diffuses, diffuses it. Junior's not a hugger, so <laughs> it doesn't work in the best of times. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I'll try reason it out with him, but if, if it comes down to it and he's just throwing a full tantrum, it'll it'll be that. And and hopefully he's good after about five minutes. Yeah. So, but the real rule is that he just has to be calm and then then he can he can come out. But yesterday he was screaming and screaming. And instead of, like, screaming sort of, like, the pitiful, maybe even crocodile tears, like, let me out, let me out, or something like mm. that. No, he was... He was yelling instructions to us. Like my wife was playing some music in the kitchen, and he's yelling, "Turn the music off! Right, Turn right. the music!" Like he's even he's being a little commander, yeah. even from timeout on the other side of the yeah. house. He's just screaming at the top of his lugs instructions to us. So he's still trying to be the boss. So he's not apologizing. Mm-hmm. He's not a. Yeah. He's not backing down. He's he's, yeah. he's going it gets, to the next level. It gets level. difficult. I, I mean, I've done that where I put her in a room and I you know, shut the door, but we haven't got a lock on it, so I have to hold the handle. But it gets to the point where they start smashing, bang, bang, bang. you you, right. you got to open the door. It gets yeah. to the point. In, in, in yeah. his case, he's not, he doesn't typically fight the door that much. He's just screaming. Yeah, um, yeah it's uh, yeah, it was a bit of a challenge this week because he, he, his grandma was being like typical boomer grandma and not mm. actually... Uh, uh, laying laying the law down basically like she he, she would allow him to boss her in just mean ways like so she was staying in the casita this uh, the separate building so it's a, yeah. a, a master bedroom and bathroom and during the day she'd help take care of um, uh, his sister or him but then you got into a phase where he just said no go back go back to your home uh-huh. go back to your house oh, like wow. he wouldn't even let her in the in the in the main house and then my mum would just let him do that and, and comply i'm just like you can't yeah. comply to a 3 year old this yeah. is ridiculous and then she'd get angry at me for not listening to him yeah. and he would get angry when i don't listen to him and i'm like mum i'm i'm the adult and i don't really appreciate having an, another adult in the house arguing sure. for the baby please like don't yeah <laughs> especially don't, you've got I, I'm you've not got dealing to, with one baby please don't like me argue with two <laughs> you've got to be united as well in in front of him you know exactly because it, it's exactly. the classic divide and conquer if he can divide dad and grandma or mum and dad then he's going to conquer I know. so he's, he's exactly. got to, he's, you've got to be united unity between like me and mum we're unbreakable if mum says this, I'm going with mum. Exactly. That that's what me and his mum do. Where I like, uh, like I'll I'll talk to her after the fact. I'm mm. like, I don't think you should have done that. Like there was no yeah. real point. That was never going to work out very well because yeah. you know how much he likes X or Y, and denying him that had no real purpose to us. Like it doesn't benefit us that he's denied mm. that. So why did you do that? But but in front of him, it's like. Sure. Uh, we can't give in to him just because he's giving, uh, yeah. just because so, he's having a tantrum, you know, just because yeah. he's upset. Your up, you, your level of upset doesn't dictate. One know, of the, one of the next. biggest uh, challenges that we've got at the minute is uh, jealousy. So you know, if I kiss my wife, if I cuddle my wife, oh, wow, oh my goodness, she's at eight? she's getting yeah, she's getting jealous. Like she'll come, wow. and, you know, slap me, like. Or she'll say, I'm a, or she'll say, she'll say, he's my husband. He's not your husband. He's my husband. You know, she she says, I'm That's my daughter's hilarious. saying, I'm the husband, and yeah, she's getting jealous if me and my wife we, show affection. We realized, we realized uh, only recently that Junior has actually developed a very deep seated jealousy of his mm. little sister and the attention that she yeah. commands like uh, yeah. it, it's not, it's not our choice like she's a baby she she has to be taken care of you know right. and that's just more time and um we we don't ignore him but we've we've slowly discovered that because he wouldn't go to to daycare anymore and it's a really nice new one like we went to like we thought we'd change it up we go to a montessori and it's a little mm-hmm. bit more his his kind of thing as as best as i can tell but he he still wouldn't go in the morning and yeah. then, and then another parent told us, like maybe uh, he's jealous that 
the baby gets to stay home. Now he's never articulated that, you know. I, mm. I'm like, yeah, but he he never says that. He says things like, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared and stuff, and all sorts of, you know, anything and everything to try and get out of school. And then I said, how about? And then it was the other parent's idea. How about we just pretend that the little, the eight month old is also going to daycare right now. Mm -hmm. And so we said, Oh, Monday, it's the first day day of school for, for daycare and stuff like that. And then he's been going every single time. We said that Maddie has to go too. Mm. Ah, Okay. (laughs) Yeah. So he thinks that Maddie's going to daycare as well. Yeah. We have to take her along. I apparently drop her off at the other classroom. Mm. And then in the afternoon I have to bring Maddie, Maddie in and then, I have to pick her up again at school in front of his eyes so he could. Yeah, because he, he thinks uh, he thinks while he's at school, Maddie's got all the attention at home. Yes, yeah, yeah. He must be thinking that. So it's fear of missing. But he out. never articulated that. That he's he's no. uh, he, he's now less of a problem for the school days, which is. I, I, I said I didn't think he was jealous, but if that's making a difference, then that's mm. that's very weird. Uh, but you know, understandable, I guess. But he's just never articulated it. So yeah, that, that's but they they don't know how to communicate. They they communicate in their own way, in, and and right, somehow right. you've got to interpret that communication. Exactly, and I, I've also uh, given uh, I've, I've given Maddie timeout in front of him. Uh-huh. Like yeah, uh, yeah, if yeah. you don't stop screaming. I'm going to oh. give you time out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice, And then nice. she screams, and then and Maddie, then Maddie's like. Cut. Maddie's like two months old. <laughs> yeah, eight months old. Like, just know what's hey, happening. You know, I was going to put her in the okay. car anyway, but I just yeah. use it as an excuse to, to show him that actually she's getting the same treatment, okay? Uh-huh. And then I said, what do you think of, of Maddie getting time out? And he goes, I like it. I'm like, <laughs> I don't, I don't no. like that you like it, but <laughs> I, I'm, understand, I'm able yeah. to understand that. I understand that you're clearly very jealous and of, of, of the unequal treatment obviously mm. but if you're if you're happy that she's getting time out because because obviously time out isn't isn't meant to be a punishment it's also not really appropriate for an infant no. <laughs> but <laughs> he says he he liked it <laughs> yeah yeah Dodger, he's he's got the life of luxury i'm glad we never had kids Look, all the problems, all the problems, Jamie, you know that, all the problems, is like, we'll talk about them, and they are things, and they occupy your full life, but mm-hmm. life is filled now with so mm-hmm. many incredible, yeah. fun, and real moments. It's mm-hmm. just filled with with mm-hmm. moments of, of real joy, and it, it, it would be, it would be very tough to to think about life without that level of enjoyment mm-hmm. as well yeah 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 i i remember um i mean me and my wife we we had i think we had about five years of marriage before we said let's have a baby let's try for a baby and we declared okay now we're ready to have a baby so we we had that time without and uh it's very different it was very different yeah. very very different but you know, I could I could adapt to both a life with kids or a life without, and I would yeah. find a joyful life. But but definitely, I've I've had brilliant. It's been a very positive experience yeah. having a kid. Even in these situations I'm talking about, these are these are also somewhat joyful moments too. Like mm. catching him spitting at the piano, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the piano's chair, and him just turning around, just like realizing he's been caught. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then running off, I was just, oh, wow. I, I was just laughing out loud inside. Yeah. I was just, I, I, was just it so reminds me that that story. That story reminds me of when I was a little kid. I don't know how old, maybe eight years old, something like that. I remember I was in the kitchen, and for whatever reason, I don't know why, but you know, you have the the dustbin. I was standing yeah. there having a piss in the bin, <laughs> and I rem- I remember my dad caught me, and. <laughs> It's just so bizarre. Like, why would you do that? I was standing there ha- having a piss in the bin. and yeah. I, I heard about a story online about um, they caught that the toddler was consistently uh, peeing in his bottom wardrobe drawer 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I can just open the drawer. I may as well pee in here. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Hey, yeah. guys, I, I got to go. Um, it's been a pleasure, Jamie. Nice to see you. I see, really you nice. see you, Lux. Bye, see you, Lux. Yeah, it's, yeah. So, so to, I'm I'm going on paternity leave soon, and um, to try and so so Maddie's got her bigger play area over here. Uh-huh. Does so, Junior does Junior get in there? Uh, he he can he he does, but it, uh, he he's got more of his Legos over here. Uh -huh. Mess, but um, yeah. so I've I've created this thing yesterday, which is uh, like a workstation on wheels. Right. Okay. So I can I can be in here or in a different room. I can wheel it in ah. there and still have a. Because Junior is going to be at school, at play school. Uh, you're actually, be... I'm I'm taking him out. Like I uh -huh. just Are you? while I'm on paternity leave, I may as well not do that yeah. and just uh, enjoy my time with him, quote unquote. We'll see. And yeah, so it's yeah. also I can wheel it around and it sits down, so um, it gives me some options. Um, yeah. Do you have baby gates? Yeah, yeah, I've got quite a few in the garage. Yeah. I don't exactly know what will happen when Maddie starts needing more uh -huh. space if we'll set those back up again. We did have this whole area set up as, you know, just one big baby gated kids area, but um How old it is wasn't uh, that Junior? How old's Junior now? Th almost 4, 4. Next okay, month. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, because I, I I was looking at some pictures a, a few days ago, and I, there was a picture of the baby gate. I just remember the you know even now it's just these nice memories of, of my <laughs> daughter per Perla. She got to the stage where she was eventually climbing over the baby gate to get in the kitchen, yeah. and, and that's the time when the gate was gone. Exactly, exactly. The baby gate phase doesn't actually last that long because uh -huh. they learn how to climb out of it so yeah. quickly. Um, yeah. Which is yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The baby gate phase doesn't last that long, uh, but we're gonna have to baby proof something because uh, what's it between walking at about two years old? They're very dangerous to themselves. <laughs> like they don't, uh -huh. <laughs> they don't, they don't have. Sure. They have a lot of mobility, but no self preservation. So yeah, not the, baby proofed the, anything in this house. Did you get the uh, the? For the plug sockets, these like yeah, yeah, the plug things. sockets have have, have yeah. all the all the caps. That's important. Those plastic so. things that you put, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stephen, uh, I see on Australian news, two 70, 17 year old boys are to be charged with murder following a home invasion Boxing Day evening at North Lakes, Brisbane. Home home invasion murder. Wow. Mm -hmm. The Dodger he's talking about his cats. <laughs> nice. Right, that to tell it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have you got pets? No, I, I'd love a Chihuahua, but honestly, uh -huh. uh, there's a lot more accommodations for children than there are dogs. Yeah. As in, yeah, as in see, like, you can take you can take your kids everywhere. You can't take a dog everywhere. If you want to go on holiday, the dog is. Right. Uh, they have to go inside the cargo now. You can't take them mm -hmm. on. On, on board even if it's a small dog now yeah yeah see that's that's the the big debate at the minute with with my daughter she wants a pet uh she wants a dog and it's you know it's all well getting a dog but i'm picking up the dog poo and uh, yeah well you know I'm, my neighbors I'm, they, they had a, a huge saga getting a dog so they they encountered a, a, a Mexican immigrant who had like a property on the outskirts of Las Vegas that was just, you know, basically desolate land of some chickens and whatever. And they had, had this dog that was pretty neglected and it was like killing the chickens. So uh, anyway, they, he, the dog got lost. This family over here, they, they picked it up and... Um, they took it back and they found the owner. They sent the owner's like, do you want it? <laughs> and and the daughter like convinced the parents to take on the dog. And I was like, well, this is not uh, an easy dog to get, take care of. It's a huge German mm -hmm. shepherd, um, massive, and he's got problems. Mm -hmm. He's got temper problems and stuff like that. Anyway, they end up adopting it and he's got serious anger issues. Um 
controllable. I'm not scared of dogs. You know what I mean? I wasn't scared of this one, but he did have issues. Um, and, and you know, whenever I was near that dog, I made sure I had my guard. Like, like if Junior was around. <laughs> like if, if something happens, like you're not getting a dog just with your bare hands. you got to no, you no. go to town. Once the, bite, um, once the bite is on, I mean, there's a lot of force. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I always made sure I had my gun around that dog. But, but you know, I wasn't treating the dog. I said I wasn't scared of it. I was just like, no. you know, but if you if you start doing something wrong, I'm, I'm not going to allow sure. it to happen. Um, and then I hear like uh, a few months later, uh, it had that in, in a, on a walk for the park, you see in my videos, it had uh, attacked another dog um, mm. and killed it. Yeah. yeah. Like it just, once, it just once pulled they a get small that, dog. Uh, apart, once they get basically. that taste. Once they get that taste for killing, they've got, you know, the, that can go on. It can, yeah. you know, go to a human and a little kid has got no defense. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. No, he he didn't, didn't ever go for junior or anything like that. But as I said, I, I, I never allowed it to be an option. Uh, right. Yeah, but, but they, they, they physically could not stop. Wow. That dog from from, from what was the breed? Small dog. What was German the breed? Shepherd. German. Yeah, okay, a oh, lovely yeah, dog. Yeah. yeah, really nice. Yeah, it can be, but also very powerful. You know. Yeah, and very. there was just well, no it was badly it. treated. You're saying it was a there was a tenant, a Mexican. Neglected. Yeah, 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 yeah. Neglected, basically. Right. Just neglected, wow. and um. And when the tenant was gone, the dog. It's not, was it's not the dog's fault, left. but it's also not the responsibility of a random person to take on mm. the dog's problems either, and they shouldn't have ever really adopted it and you know they're, they're a little bit too touchy feely uh in terms yeah. of like they felt sorry and they really care for animals and stuff i was like well okay your actions now led to a dog getting killed <laughs> so, okay. yeah. you know good intentions are, are very you know you got to inspect what what the reality is actually you know mm. it's like your good intentions won't necessarily have good outcomes so anyway that a dog, like it's crazy. They got like tribunals and stuff for the dog. And can you believe that dog escaped getting uh, uh, killed? Like, as in, uh, yeah. I, I don't know what, what the appropriate. Yeah, yeah, they, they put, call down. It put down. Yeah, yeah, they it escaped getting put down. Like they said, like yeah, the, this doesn't look good. But they they argued to have it go to like a shelter in California as opposed okay. to. Uh, getting put down um just like are they gonna try and rehome him from the shelter or no it's it's not not, not so much shelter more like a uh, resort for dogs yeah. <laughs> it's, he's meant to live there basically he's okay meant to live there but that's got to be expensive for the, for the natural life of that dog to have to home it there yeah. i'm just like uh just put the dog down Come on. I can't, yeah, I can't be yeah. the worst person in the world to say that. How do they? Look, um... It's not the dog's fault that its temperament was like that, but some problems are too hard, mm -hmm. and we weren't, we aren't the people to blame for it. You know, we're mm -hmm. like they didn't raise that dog to be like no. that. So that's no, no, it's not... the Mexican guy. Yeah, and w once the dog has been train that way i mean it's a difficult task to undo all that bad that bad yeah. uh, training i mean it's yeah, sad yeah, yeah. but it, it is i mean there's also a lot of dogs you know it's there's a lot of dogs. of dogs yeah, it's yeah. like you, you can't you can't just say every dog needs you know thirty thousand dollars worth of re rehabilitation you know what mm. i mean it's that's just not practical if you think if you think buying a ten thousand dollar luxury watch is a is a luxury trying to say that every dog is should be redeemed is is yeah is, uh, that, that's a real luxury <laughs> well, someone's I'd, I'd love it. to see anyone who says opposite say okay how much money have you spent on rehabilitating dogs you never never own never grew up with go down to the shelter right now try try and mm -hmm. try and help all of them right now and some people do you yeah. know bless their hearts but it, it, honestly this is not a cause for everyone and every family yeah. to to take part in it's it's a tough thing it's a really do you see a do you see a lot of street dogs in uh, Vegas, like homeless dogs? No. Or do they round them no. up? No, no, yeah. no. Yeah, definitely not. Um, mm. 
I remember in Thailand there was a, a yeah. time when things got scary. There's like a pack of dogs on the beach just following yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the, wow, the worst yeah. for me was it was in India. Um, I mean, there's just dogs everywhere, and even to the point like before I even went to India, I got the uh, rabies vaccine mm. uh, because I was, you know, seeing it. Whoa, as whoa, a, whoa! Rabies vaccine? Yeah, yeah. In case I get bitten by the dog, you know, it was. It was a. I was seeing it as a real threat. I didn't even know there was a rabies vaccine. Yeah, there's, there's. I, I think it's a two part vaccine, or maybe a three wow. part vaccine. But yeah, you, you take it just in case you get bitten by a rabid dog. Wow. Okay. I had no idea there was a there was a mm. vaccine because because even today the the rabies shots are really no joke. It's not fun, and they're very, very expensive. Like, I think a course of rabies shots in America, I think it's $10,000. What, if you've been bitten? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was this was before getting bitten to have the, yeah. the, the shot. Exactly, yeah. I had no idea that that was even a possibility. But, uh, yeah, I, I learned, like, looking that up, like, you gotta you got to try and take the animal because you got to get it tested because... It, it's worth ten thousand dollars to you, basically. <laughs> wow! Wow! Because if you wow. don't if you don't have the animal, you 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 have to get the shots because uh-huh. rabies will kill you if you don't get the shots. Yeah, of course it will. Of course um, it will. But but if you take the animal, that that way you can get the animal tested, and then that way you know whether or not you need the mm. the course of shots. So it's important to spend that first ten minutes after getting bitten to see if you can seize the animal because. Uh, otherwise, a lot of money and a lot of, lot of, lot of inconvenience, and I, I don't know yeah. pain. I, I don't exactly know what the, if the yeah. I, I think it shots. just it slowly kills you. The you know when you get rabid, it, it's yeah, it's a slow, painful, not very nice death. Yeah, uh, and yeah, I think it's, it's like a ninety nine percent death uh, mm-hmm. rate if you if you if you contract rabies like no like basically nobody survives it so you have to have the wow. shots <laughs> wow 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 yeah yeah it's all like wow. if you're young and healthy it's like oh it could kill you like 10 percent. no it's like 99 no, no, no. percent. yeah you've got to get immediate medical you need, you need that injection but yeah it's yeah. the it's the packs of dogs and you know when you're walking down because i was in i was in goa you're walking down these dark lanes and then this group of six seven dogs behind you just you know and you turn around go oh, away, go away. Yeah. they run back a bit but they keep following you and it just takes one to run quickly and nip you yeah so there was a night in Kopangan in thailand the island in the gulf and so that's the the moon party uh mm. island whatever anyway we're walking home from the market and it starts pouring down rain, torrential rain, and so we 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 we're sort of just trying to rush to get home. I don't remember if we had a good umbrella or not, but anyway, this uh, stray dog, uh, medium size, but he 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 looked kind of friendly, like yeah. uh, you know he wasn't being aggressive, and he he came up to us. I'm just like, no, no, go away, go away, sure. and then we and and then our our place is quite 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 a f- f- further away so we end up going, getting all the way home and then i uh we we get into our into our little uh into our room in in our in our resort and i'm like whoa you know wow what what torrential rain we get changed in our clothes and then i you know we're just in our underwear and then i, I go back into the bathroom to brush my teeth i open the door and that dog is in the bar, <laughs> oh, wow. and he's just he's just there shivering a little bit, you know, all soaked wet. I'm just like, what the? How did you get in? <laughs> and he must have just followed us sneakily and snuck yeah. in when we got into our door, and then wow. stuck it stuck into the bathroom, and he was there. And I felt so sorry for him because it was just such bad rain, and 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 it was cold and everything, and I'm just like. Ah, oh, you know, it, you know, the thought crossed our minds like he just wants to be in shelter for a little bit. Sure. It'd be okay to leave him in the bathroom. And I was like, "No, nah, we got to, we got to kick him out." Because how did you? You know, you're you not. Get him you're, out? 
oh, I just had to just keep pushing with my legs. And he was just yeah. mm-hmm, just doing all the puppy dog oh. stuff and just sitting there being passive. He wasn't really fine. And then he'd, you know, you'd, you'd push him with like, and then he'd, 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 you know, sort of sneak around and back off into the corner. So it took me like, it felt like 40 minutes to try and push him out of that, out of the, out of the room, out of the apartment, well, not apartment, out of the room. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, the, the, the area outside of our room was covered. So he, he didn't, he didn't have to go out into the trench or rain. He could have been in the covered area, just not uh-huh. in our room. I mean, my concern is like, he's all, mm you know, puppy dog right now but in the middle of the night he could just come out and attack us yeah, yeah of course you know, wow. we don't know this dog it's a stray dog you know just because he, he he knows how to play the game because man he's got some tricks <laughs> yeah yeah i tell you the other uh the other uh, fear that i had when i was in uh, uh goa was the sea mm. snakes they have oh. uh, they have these snakes in the sea yeah i've, I've seen them in video yeah yeah, that that was another thing that I was a bit uh, wor- worried about. You see them on the beach. Um, yeah, not good. Mm. That's oh, the last thing you up. need. Oh, getting ready for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. See, even that brings back memories of the the high chair. <laughs> See, like just just yesterday. Um, so the law in Spain to get out of the baby seat is you've got to be either twelve years old or one hundred and thirty five centimeters tall. You got to be over one hundred thirty five. Oh. So she's she's just she's just reached like basically she's one hundred and thirty five, one hundred thirty seven. So we've just taken the car seat off, and that's. That's another big milestone, right? Totally. To be in, you know, uh, there's there's almost no data to support using uh, seats after basically uh, after they're not really a baby anymore. Basically, like all yeah, these no, child, no idea. child level seats, there's no data to support it. And in fact, the NTSB's data on child seats shows that there's an increased uh, rate of fatalities. For children sitting in car seats versus not sitting in car seats. Wow, wow. I, I don't I wouldn't know, but it's just the you know, the illusion that a, a child has of getting out of the baby seat and being a big girl in the normal seat, you know. In the oh back. sure, yeah, not, yeah. She can't go in the front yet, but in the back, yeah. you know, she's now she's now sitting in the big seat rather than the big car seat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the car seats are so huge. They're so huge. Yeah. I was looking getting a um you know, a mid-sized truck, mm. like the Toyota Tacoma, very popular. But I looked at the rear cabin area. It's fine for an mm. adult, not fine for a car, uh, a child seat. Child seat. Sure, just, sure. You, you'd have to push the uh, front adult seats all the way forward for, for you to yeah. fit a, a, a child seat in there. Yeah, yeah. And like you say, if you've got two kids, I mean, in the middle seat yeah, then mean, the driver becomes unusable. To, yeah, and then the driver would also have to push their seat all the way forward and try to drive wow. with your knees in your in your in your ears. Wow. Yeah, I'm tall as well. I need I need I need my seat pushed right the way back. Yeah, yeah. I I, I really dislike all these child safety seat laws because they as it based on no data. I've looked at the data sheets, looked at the 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 performance of them, and for the most part, they increase the fatalities for for children. I'm like, yeah, uh, okay, this is really dumb. But you know about, why it happens like that? Seat because belts? seat belts, one hundred percent. Like, there's, yeah, there's no same. real, yeah. So the the main issue with a uh, child child seat is like it's part of a of a safety system for the entire car, right? So the entire car has a lot of safety features. So features, but it's part of a safety system as a whole, mm-hmm. but if you just start randomly higgledy piggledy adding contraptions to the system, you, you, you're going to get what you asked for, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, could you imagine if someone started selling adult safety seats for your mm-hmm. car? Do mm-hmm. you think that would increase or decrease your safety? Yeah, you know, I mean, what the, the original is, manufacturer the, made versus yeah, the, the car is designed with its airbags without 
you know, the baby seat. Yeah, yeah. So, so to insert, seat, insert yeah. something in between yourself and the actual seat mm. and the seatbelt system itself to say, let's just bypass all of those systems, the seat, but the seat, the pre-tension fasteners on the seatbelt, yeah. uh, the way that it fits. Let's just scrap all that and replace it with this $100 safety seat. Quote, unquote. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. it's got the word safe in the in the t in the title of the product and it's like hmm, i don't know actually maybe that doesn't work and it doesn't <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah no the reason i bring up seat belts is i i see a lot of uh particularly uh like arabs arab people they they have their kids just riding around without the seat belts on and wow. my um my wife's friend uh jamil he's lebanese and he takes the kids in the car and they're just climbing all over the place. And... That's hilarious. I, yeah, yeah. So I, it's, I, it's I know another mother. Thing. I, yeah, you, I, you go, I know another mother. Lebanon, from... They're all, they're all, um, they don't, they hate the seatbelt. They hate the seatbelt. And really? even, even the front, like the drivers, they, they disable, you know, the, the alarm, if you're not wearing the seatbelt, yes, the yeah, yeah, they, they, they disable, they disable the, the alarm system. They see the seatbelt as a, you know, an inconvenience. Huh. Wow. Uh, okay, I got to jump into this meeting. Um, yeah, no worries. Good, good to see you. Good to see you again. It was really fun, Jamie. Uh, always great to see you. Likewise. I'll catch you later. Catch you. See you, mate. So uh, yeah, guys, the link is pinned. If anyone wants to jump on Dodger Jonga, you're all, you're all welcome. Otherwise, we'll uh, we'll call it a day. I'm going to finish this last bit of cigar and then hop off. Dodger's got his uh, his new watch from Mrs. Dodger for Christmas, the Pepsi. You missed the uh, unboxing. Uh, sorry, you missed the uh, steam engine. Some of you had the steam engine going earlier. Uh, Faye Clegg, you like North Face? I do. I do. But I also like Levi's. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to clean up this mess, all this ash. And I'm going to go home and see my uh, wonderful family. It's been a pleasure. Catch you later, guys. Have a good one. Oh, I better end the broadcast.